Have you ever wondered what happens when you boil mothballs? It may seem unusual, but the results may surprise you. In this video, you'll learn a simple, powerful, and multifunctional homemade formula using ingredients you probably already have at home. It all starts with the classic mothballs. They're easily found in markets or grocery stores and are typically used inside drawers and cabinets to keep moths away. But today, their use is quite different. Take a clean cotton sock and carefully place the balls inside one by one, paying close attention. If possible, tie a tight knot at the top to ensure the balls don't slip out during use and are well compacted within the fabric. Next, place the sock on a flat, sturdy surface, preferably metal. Using a hammer, begin tapping it gently. The goal is to break all the pellets into a fine powder, and this must be done patiently to avoid tearing the fabric. Please share your thoughts and comment on where you're watching from, your city or country. It's always amazing to see where this content is reaching, to meet the people who are part of this community. And of course, this helps me produce content that's increasingly aligned with you, wherever you are in the world. Carefully hold the sock over a clean container, a glass or metal bowl, for example, and slowly begin pouring the contents into the sock. Gently shake and squeeze the sock to ensure as much of the powder as possible is released. You'll also need a sturdy container, preferably aluminum like the one we're using. Separate approximately 500 milliliters of filtered water at room temperature and bring to a slow boil in a clean pan using an electric or gas stove, preferably over high heat to speed up the boiling process. Once the water reaches boiling point, gradually add the powder, stirring constantly with a wooden stainless steel or silicone spoon to prevent lumps from forming at the bottom of the pan. The mixture will gradually begin to change, the mothballs will dissolve, and the liquid's appearance will visibly change, becoming denser, slightly opaque, and whitish in color. During this process, keep the room well ventilated and avoid inhaling the vapors directly as mothballs release strong, volatile compounds that are potentially irritating to the respiratory tract. Carefully add about 50 milliliters of alcohol vinegar, and at the end of this tutorial I will explain in detail what its true function is and why it makes all the difference in the final result. Next, pour 100 milliliters of fabric softener directly into the still warm mixture. Choose an intense, striking, and long-lasting fragrance, one that leaves a pleasant scent in the room for hours, even after application. Continue stirring gently until all ingredients are completely and evenly mixed. The texture should be uniform, with no lumps or visible separations, and the aroma of the solution will begin to transform, now much softer, more fragrant, and pleasant to the nose. Turn off the heat and let the mixture cool for about 30 minutes. This time is important to stabilize the ingredients and prevent accidents during storage. Once completely cool, carefully transfer the entire solution to a clean, dry plastic bottle, or if you prefer, use a spray bottle, which will make it much easier to apply to the desired areas. Make sure the container is tightly sealed to better preserve the mixture. If there's any leftover liquid, you can store it in larger containers with tight-fitting lids, or even reuse empty cleaning product bottles that are thoroughly washed dry and free of any chemical residue. This ensures practicality and intelligent material recycling. But what is this mixture actually used for? It has multiple uses. When sprayed on sofas, mattresses, curtains, cushions, or carpets, you'll notice a pleasant aroma that lasts for hours. At the same time, the presence of mothballs acts as a powerful repellent against cockroaches, moths, ants, and other insects. The vinegar helps eliminate microorganisms and mold, while the fabric softener leaves everything with a clean and comfortable feel. This formula is especially useful in damp, undersunned homes or in areas where pests are more common. This solution can also be used in drains, sinks, bathroom corners, and grease traps. Besides masking strong odors, it creates a protective barrier against insects, preventing them from climbing up pipes or hiding in tiles. In the previous video, we showed a combination that surprised many people. But what you're about to see now is even more unexpected. With just a few simple ingredients, you'll witness a transformation few people know about. Here I have four common candles, the kind you can easily find at any grocery store or hardware store. The first step is simple. Melt all the wax until it's completely liquid and uniform. 
You can use low, medium, or high heat. The wax melts easily and quickly, but be careful not to let it burn. Choose a heat-resistant aluminum container, such as an old pot, or even a reused can of beans, corn, or tuna. Avoid plastic or flimsy containers, as they can melt or release toxic substances. Stir with a sturdy spoon, preferably stainless steel or wooden, until all the solid pieces of the candle are dissolved. Once this happens, carefully remove the wicks using a fork or tongs, and don't throw them away, we'll reuse them soon. Meanwhile, prepare a container where this transformation will take place. It could be a thick glass, an old cup, or even a small heat-resistant can. Now comes a simple and clever hack. In this case, I'll show you how to make a simple, practical, and effective hack to perfectly center the candle wick right in the center of the glass, ensuring an even, safe burn with a more beautiful, professional visual finish. In my case, I'm using heat-resistant aluminum tape, which withstands the heat of hot wax well without loosening or warping. It's great for keeping the wick firmly in place at the base of the cup, especially if you want to reuse the container later or ensure a cleaner look. But don't worry if you don't have this tape at home. You can improvise with whatever you have on hand. Hot glue, which dries quickly and holds well. Metal paper clips, which can be opened and bent to hold the wick or even toothpicks or wooden skewers stuck through the rim of the cup to keep the wick straight in the center until the wax hardens. The most important thing here isn't the technique, but the result. The wick needs to be centered in the exact position and firmly attached. This ensures the candle burns evenly, preventing it from melting on just one side or going out easily. With the wax still on the heat, it's time to add the second secret ingredient, cloves. They have a striking aroma, surprising natural properties, and will completely transform the final result of your candle. Pour a generous amount of cloves directly into the melted wax and continue stirring slowly to ensure the active ingredients are well incorporated. You'll notice the scent wafting through the air. I'll explain why shortly. Now comes the finishing touch. Add about 50 ml mirror of a well-scented fabric softener, preferably one that's concentrated and long-lasting. Choose a scent that fills the entire room, lingers for hours, and provides a feeling of freshness. Mix everything thoroughly, using gentle, continuous movements, until the texture is uniform and slightly creamy. Once this is done, it's time to carefully pour the wax into the cup you prepared with the wick fixed in the center. Pour slowly in a continuous stream until you reach the desired height in the glass. Try not to shake or touch the wick during the process, so that it remains in the correct position. Use a clothespin or toothpick to keep the wick centered while the wax cools. What we've just created here is truly amazing. A simple blend, yet with powerful effects. It's not just a decorative candle. It's a functional, fragrant creation, with uses that go far beyond what meets the eye. It makes a space more beautiful and welcoming, while also acting discreetly, repelling insects and refreshing the air around it. Few people know about this combination, and those who try it are truly surprised. It's the kind of thing whose value you only understand when you see it with your own eyes and feel the results unfolding around you. If you liked this second mysterious idea, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with friends, family, or that curious neighbor who loves unusual inventions, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on what's coming.